Hello guys, so as you already know, the Millennium Year Group of Adisado College, we are working towards a legacy project and we are renovating and refurbishing the Job 600 block. Uh, with me today, we have our lead for fundraising in the person of Kwame Apia, aka DZ. Uh, stick and stay, we'll be right back. All right, so welcome back. Dizzy, how are you? Charlie, Ghana design, how's it going? Well, Ghana is, is home. Good, good, good. Always good to be back. I mean, we have a very amazing project. Ever since we announced that the feedback has been good, everybody thinks it's a very good course. Uh, I mean, we've set targets and we are working towards it. In terms of strategy, in terms of target, uh, what exactly is it that we have to achieve and where are we at the moment? Okay. Well, our target is, uh, for, of course, is fluid, but it's fixed. Um, we have, we are tasked with raising uh, 150 uh, US, uh, thousand US dollars. Um, we are on, on course to being able to achieve that. Um, to, when you talk about the strategy, uh, do we have the strategy to ensure success? Yes. Uh, the next phase is to be, make sure that we are able to uh, raise the money in order to enable us execute what we need to uh, to do. So we are, we, we are right on tax. We have the, uh, the best strategy to support the objective that we have at hand. And I believe that if we stay in the fight for long, we'll be able to achieve it, yes. I remember we broke the stages into two. Uh, the first part of the year, we were supposed to do the inter-house uh, yes. raising of a set amount. How is that going? Uh, so far? There's been, we, we've had challenges, just like with everything else, but it's not, those are not problems, they're just challenges, you know, that you, you encounter whilst you're on the journey to achieve the things that you need to, to get done. So we were attack, each house is supposed to raise 40,000 cities. Um, I think with that, even though it has not ended, because we have the race to 100,000, um, we've been able to raise 130, 140 um, thus far. So we, we, we are not where we ought to be, but we are not behind either. So that's, a, that's one of the messages that I want our people to understand, that we are doing well. We are doing well. Um, we are in a comfortable lead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are in a comfortable lead, but uh, we have way through the year, yes. and we haven't met that target. Yes. What must we do to meet that first phase of it, the target? So if you look at the strategy that is put forth, um, what it is is you can take each segment of the strategy and decide that that is what you're going to run with it. But for me, as I sit back and I look at the, the, the whole board, uh, it's, a, it's a combined form that ensures that even if I am able to achieve 20% on each of these items, I would achieve my 100% total objective. So for instance, we have uh, the inter-house that you talked about that each house is supposed to raise 40K. That puts us at 400,000. If each box is ticked, which I know that's not going to happen, but I know effectively I can raise enough money from that. We have the, um, the naming rights, which as we speak, we've already sold off four items um, with the, uh, the amphitheater, with the uh, the media room, which is, I think that one is taken by uh, the Honorable Kujoyanka. We have uh, classrooms that have been already checked off. Um, I think each classroom is, I think, 40,000 cities checked off. So you, even though I see that this pot is a little low, I'm making progress on this side. Uh, if we talk about um, the social responsibility for co cooperatives, that, that's the corporate development that is also a standalone uh, objective that if, if you decide that that is the only thing you want to run with, then you can go at 100% full throttle, but that's not what I'm doing. If we are able to convince the, uh, the corporate uh, sector to invest in a decider, to support our year group, to achieve or tell the story that we are trying to tell, and we make 60% of our money from there, 
we are good. So the focus really is to kind of hone in on each of these items and invest our time, our talent, and treasure into them so that we can succeed across board. So that's, that's really my objective. Great. Uh, you also had the launch of the Addis uh, Ababa Trust Fund. Yes, sir. Um, how does that fit into the grand scheme of helping the school and perhaps our project also? Were you able to do some sort of leads, get some leads there that would help us in terms of yes. our efforts? Yes. The, the main purpose of attending that program was to network, mm -hmm. to meet with the, 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 the old students who came before us and to share with them the, the millennium story, because our story is rich. We have job 600, and almost every gentleman, every individual that was there had at one point been to job 600. So when that story comes out and the renovations that we are trying to do, that is a motivating factor. So with that, the purpose is to ensure that the, the 50 to 100 donor list that is, that is where our list is coming from. So that is why attending and networking and meeting these people was very crucial. If we raise 1,000 cities from the 50 to 100 uh, donor list, if we raise 1,000 cities per head, we are making headway. So, so far we've talked about three strategies, which each arm can be dealt, you know, singularly. But that's not what we are doing. We are kind of combining yeah, all these to make sure that we are tapping into all the available assets that we, we, we have to our, at our disposal. Let me take you back to the internal effort, which is the one that we are more working on. Uh, some people have said that some houses are disadvantaged uh, because they don't have the numbers, uh, such as Jonah House per se. What do you say to that challenge and how do we circumvent that challenge? We, we, would, we, we have uh, a strategy to uh, take care of that. I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a round robin where I called all the house uh, representatives to kind of hear their story, hear their challenges, um, try to understand what their problems are, and also to share best practices. So what is, say, Canterbury House doing? that has been if not just effective, but efficient. You know, I, I hear their story, I hear what they're doing, their weekly meetings, their um, communication skills, all the things that they're doing. And I listen to, say, uh, I think Le Maire, Le Maire Nighthouse, uh, listen to their, their representative also speak on things that are affecting them, the challenges. So it helps me to kind of come up with something that all of us can benefit from. And so for Jonah House, uh, their chief complaint has been that they don't have the numbers to contribute. And um, my take is that we have to start from somewhere. We have to begin re-engaging, right? When we begin to re-engage with people and to share our story with them, then they, they can resonate. They can understand why we are on this journey. That it's not just about us. It is also to provide a sustainable education provide the infrastructure, create the content, and then use this knowledge wealth to support our economics. That, if that story is told in a way that can resonate with people, then it doesn't matter how much money they have, you know, they can contribute 100,000 for those who wants to do. But for those who can only give 50 and 20 cities and 10 cities, we will take all of them. You know, that's 10 cities we didn't have, so <laughs> I'm all for it. So that, um, in a nutshell, we, we have something in the works for Jonah House and uh, the welfare, the, no, not the welfare, the fundraising committee is working out things to make sure that nobody across board is going to fail. Great. So if you should have a message for now for the various sectors, uh, internally the houses and then corporate and also old school, uh, older uh, groups, uh, what would that be, message to each of these groupings? There is one thing that resonates with all of us, and, and that is others have labored, and we, we share in their glory, and we will do same when our time comes. Um, 
my message to all these groups and subgroups that are out there is that let us come together to support this effort, no matter how small we think our, our, our treasure or time or, or talent may be. Let us invest it in, into this, and the rewards will be um, amazing for all of us. Thanks so much, and do have a safe trip back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here, and I think I'll be back in uh, August or December. Thank <laughs> you.